Hey, how's it going today? Dylan here. Today I'm going to be participating in the horror tag, which everyone seems to be doing recently. I was tagged by Mike MCG TV. I'll link him his channel below, and I might tag a few other people, possibly that I haven't seen do it yet. So basically, a horror tag is uh, just get everyone to answer these same questions about horror movies. Now, obviously, I'm not a massive horror fan. Uh, well, I, I mean, I love horror, but I'm not as knowledgeable in terms of kind of the smaller movies and things like that. So bear with me, I might I might give some out of left field answers, but I don't care, it's a little bit of fun and variety. All right, so the first question is my favorite standalone slasher film, I'm guessing. Now, I'm not gonna do a person, some other people have done slasher, like as in favorite slasher, like physical person that slashes people. Uh, but I'm gonna do slasher film and I'm gonna be a little bit different and I'm going to suggest the film The Triangle, which is one of my favourite, really not talked about horror slash thriller movies, which is technically a slasher because there's people that go around and killing people on a boat. Uh, and it's a fantastic movie and has a really cool twist. I'm not going to spoil it, but it, uh, it's a movie that I saw when I was a lot younger with my mum. We used to rent random movies all the time from the video store. And we got this one one time and it was really cool, really enjoyed it. And then I completely forgot about it until I was on a quest to find lots of movies that involved a certain plot device, which I'm not going to spoil here. And I remembered it and it took me a few weeks, but I found out what the hell it was called. And I um, rented it again and it was fantastic. Really loved it. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. It has a cool twist and interestingly made. Next question is your favorite final girl. So uh, obviously a lot of horror films, there's like especially slasher films, it's usually a final girl that survives. And uh, I've thought a bit about this, uh, not a huge amount. Again, I haven't seen a huge amount of um, horror films. The really obvious one would probably be Sidney Prescott, but uh, I'm not gonna necessarily go with that. I'm gonna go be a bit left field to a really bad horror film but I really love it. It's one of my real guilty pleasures, which is Final Destination 3, um, Mary Elizabeth Winstead's character. I don't care that it's a pretty bad movie, but I am a huge fan of Final Destination movies, uh, and I just don't care. So that's my answer. Question number three is favorite slasher mask, which would probably easily really be the mask, the ghost face mask from Scream. Um, I know that's typical, but that is my favorite. Next question is favorite horror setting, which is a really good question actually. My favorite horror setting is most likely uh, really a house. Uh, it's generally because it's where someone feels the most safe a lot of the time and where often they're the most vulnerable. Uh, I know it's kind of the cliche part of horror, but I really enjoy those types of self-contained house settings, whether it be you know, the, inviting all the friends over for drinks at a house, uh, at your own house for a house party and things like that, which always happens in a lot of horror films. Um, I really enjoy that setting. What can I say? Next question is favorite slasher kill, which is probably, now that I think about it, Kevin Bacon's death in, in Friday the 13th, the first one. I just, it, it's forever ingrained in my mind with the Arrowhead, uh, I think it was, now that I remember, it's been ages since I've seen it coming through his neck. Really cool and kind of freaky. Now, the next question uh, is an interesting one. Uh, it's favorite nude scene in a horror film. I really don't know, to be honest. I've been thinking, trying to think of one uh, that stands out in my mind, but there isn't really one that does in horror movies that I've seen at least. Uh, so I'm just gonna cop out and not answer this one. Sorry guys. And that's it for this uh, Q&A weird tag video. Uh, I might, I'm gonna tag some people, but I honestly can't think of any of my YouTuber friends who haven't, I haven't seen do this before, so, oh well, I'll just tag a bunch of people. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. If you leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, hit the bell button uh, to be notified of new uploads when they become available. This is the first kind of Q&A type tag video that I've ever done. Let me know what you thought in the comments or on Twitter, always up for a conversation. Follow me on the links below, and as always, till next time, take care.